Which of the following is insoluble in water? A. Copper 2 chloride B. Mercury 1 chloride C. Mercury 2 bromide or D. Calcium nitrate To answer this question, use the solubility rules for common ionic compounds. You're likely to see different versions of these rules in different textbooks. They are all pretty much equivalent, although some textbooks include more ions than others. In general, the rules will tell you which compounds are always soluble, which compounds are generally soluble, and what the exceptions are, and that pretty much anything else is insoluble and what the exceptions are. Let's apply the rules to each of the choices. Let's start with choice A, copper 2 chloride. Rule 1 does not apply. It doesn't say anything about copper or chloride ions. So, we move on to the second rule. The second rule tells us that chlorides are generally soluble unless it is in combination with silver, lead 2, mercury 1, or copper 1. The compound we are given is copper 2 chloride, not copper 1 chloride. Therefore, the compound is soluble. Choice A is incorrect. How about choice B, mercury 1 chloride? Again, rule 1 does not apply. Rule 2 applies in this case. Rule 2 tells us that chlorides are generally soluble. However, mercury 1 chloride is an exception. Therefore, mercury 1 chloride is insoluble. The question is asking us to identify the insoluble compound. Therefore, choice B is correct. Let's verify that choices C and D are in fact soluble in water. Let's examine choice C. Mercury 2 bromide. Again, the first rule does not apply. It doesn't say anything about mercury 2 or bromide. So, we go on to the next rule. It says that bromides are generally soluble. Unless it is in combination with silver, lead 2, copper 1, or mercury 1. Our compound is mercury 2 bromide, not mercury 1 bromide. Therefore, it is not an exception to the rule. Mercury 2 bromide is soluble in water. Let's look at choice D, calcium nitrate. Rule 1 applies in this case. All nitrates are soluble. Therefore, calcium nitrate is soluble.